Welcome to our Divine Light Healing Circle. Today we are going to be co-creators of our realities. Whether you're going to have a wish for co-creating something in your future or co-creating something in your environment, co-creating something for the planet, for our cosmic future, we use this palette over here with all the color frequencies frequencies to create like a painting palette and then we are trying to manifest and to create certain things on different levels whether it's, it's spiritual level or whether it's physical levels planetary level cosmic level whatever it is that's why i chose this picture by john Locke pozzoli i was then and in our old tradition, we are now bringing in the light by envisioning gold coming in from the universal oneness. Golden light flows into our top of the brain, into every single cell of our eyes, nose, mouth, throat, and neck. Golden light flows into the shoulders, arms, hands, and out of the fingertips, along the spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest, opening both wide into the solar plexus to make it more radiant, into the whole digestive system, hips, legs, knees, calves, feet, and through the feet into the ground like roots. All old non-supportive energies, belief structures can be swept into Mother Earth for recycling. By just the glistening frequencies of golden soul light prevail. And then we let it overflow from the heart into our aura, our electromagnetic field. With every single breath, our aura expands and becomes a golden, wonderful light bubble around us, keeping us safe and secure at all times. Now we're bringing in the cleansing and clearing vibration of white silver sparkling diamond light, white light with silver sparkles and little diamond reflective pieces to bring in all the potentials while at the same time cleansing and clearing. While white silver sparkling diamond light flows from the universal oneness into the top of our heads, eyes, nose, mouth, ears, throat, and neck. Shoulders, arms, hands, and out of the fingertips. Along the spine and muscle structure in the back, into the heart and chest opening, both wide, front and back. Solar plexus to make it more radiant, front and back. Whole digestive system, second chakra, front and back. First chakra, opening up wide. And then the hips, legs, knees, calves, feet and through the feet into Mother Earth for recycling, but also giving her the tools to transmute and transform energy which are not conducive to the well-being of our planet easily and naturally. And as we are diving into Mother Earth deeply, we are following this white silver light strand. We are also calling in all light beings and guiding ones who wants to be of service. Our personal guides, helpers, angels, power animals, light beings of the highest order, chirps dimensional up or what it might be, all with the best intent to help us co-create, heal, and also to heal the people on our list. For that purpose, we are diving down deep into the core center of Earth, sensing Mother Earth and sensing what she needs, and bringing in that energy of what she needs right now. You decide what you want to bring through you as the gateway into her body, our planet Earth. 
and that light frequency from the palette of options are brought down through us as gateway into Mother Earth, into all the distorted spots, tension spots, dirty spots in Mother Earth. We give this process a short moment. Next, we are drawn up from the depths of Mother Earth to a stone circle. It doesn't have to be Stonehenge. It can be any other stone circle, which is comfortable for you to connect with right now. These stone circles are connecting rings to interdimensional gateways and existences. So let yourself being drawn to one easily and naturally and go into the surface area from the depths of Mother Earth and appear in that circle. Look around, whether it's tall stones or smaller stones, whether the stones have holes, are toppled or still standing. And then I would like you to go around the circle from the outside three times. With possible chanting within your mind, love and light shining bright, within my body and in this sight, love and light shining bright within my body and on this sight, love and light shining bright within my body and on this sight. While you're going three times around the stones from the outside, you're activating them was bringing in the light through you and resonating with the stones. These stones are tuning forks for tuning into between the worlds as a gateway. Once you through the roundabout for three times, you are entering towards the center there, in most stone circles, you find an altar, an altar stone where the curtain between the worlds is the thinnest. There I would like to, for you to offer something onto the stones. Maybe virtually it's her hair, which is very personal or a flower you draw from your mind, or a gift, maybe a piece of your ego you want to let go of, or something, whatever you can up, come up with. Something as a peace offering to the gatekeeper in between the worlds. There's always beings who make sure that there is no misuse of these gateways. There is a being coming towards you most likely. And this being is the gatekeeper. 
this gatekeeper will connect with you right now to make the transition into the other dimension easy. I would like you now to take a deep breath to inhale, inhale this connection with the gatekeeper and at the same time to expand your energy field to open up to receive while you're traveling to that particular place and time and space with importance for you important to receive messages there important to be there see things notice things so while you're there in this gateway place in time and space see what you see feel what you feel and know what you know i give you a moment Now inhale the love from this place, inhale the love from its possible inhabitants, inhale the love given to you, and make through the inhale of love your beingness wider. Inhale love and exhale love as well. And in this stream of love, you become like a magnet, having the potential to create and co-create. As you're having the toolbox of unconditional love flowing through you this moment, you're in the stream of existence and the stream where you can best co-create. So ask yourselves, what would you like to create now? What would you like to co-create? Something for your personal life right now, what you need? Something you would like to attract to you, something you would like to see change on our planet Earth, something you would like to shift in our universe, something you would like to do to help others within a particular theme. No creation is too small or too big. No wish is too small or too big. No vision is too small or too big. I give you now time to focus on the manifestation drawing in from your toolbox of vibration rates, modeling a vision of a shift of existence.
Hold your vision for a strong moment. To manifest, we have to let the vision go. So let loose of your vision like a balloon so that it can be come into reality, come into existence, and it will gently float to the plane it needs to be to come to pass in the best possible manner right now we're going even further and higher up i would like you now to bring in the frequency you need to float further and higher up Become lighter and lighter, easily and naturally, like you are a feather in the wind being blown upwards. And the stream of existence floats you and blows you to a higher dimensional place, which is another spirit gateway, like energy standing stones. They are not physical and not on our planet. They are in a different dimension of existence. Here the standing stones are beautiful, still erect, and in perfect harmony, emitting healing tones. And to this we bring all the people from our list with the help of our designated guardians and helpers who help with bringing the people from the list into the healing places. And as we are seeing all these people from our list are brought to these healing stones, these standing stones, they're starting to settle and lean against those stones which they resonate with the most as these stones emit healing tones which resonate with the person's DNA or family history or soul history. As these standing energy stones are so strong and wide, there's plenty of room for all the people on our list to find their preferred resonance healing spot. It's a natural spot of well-being. And I will invite you now to find yours. This particular spot will make you feel whole in resonance. It makes your DNA song more beautiful. It makes the song of your DNA more complete and whole and wholesome. 
you might feel a heightened vibration now in your whole body from head to toe or from feet to crown your whole body vibrates to a new song to a new vibration rate as you're enjoying this new vibration rate a swarm of butterflies comes and settles first on the resonance stones and then as if with one command they're settling on resonance spots in people's bodies and in your bodies like little energy helpers and with their energy pumping wings they pump out disharmony from your body your emotional field is almost as their wing movement transmutes and transforms low vibrational resonances as if they would suck up these disharmonies and diseasements from people's bodies and fields like nourishment. These transmutational butterflies are very special as their sole purpose in this dimension is to transmute and transform disharmony and disresonance. To heal and uplift any kind of disharmony in the vibrational field where there is resistance to healing, resistance to be in harmony, resistance to beauty, resistance to joy. That's what gets sucked out of our systems to be able to let more harmony and joy in. Blockages are sucked away by these beautiful craters as if the butterflies suck in the disharmony as nectar and transmute and transform it into beauty and a beautiful dance. Once some butterflies are done with a person, they fly into the center of the circle and start to dance with other butterflies in a dance of air, giving and receiving, circling around, moving, flying, just for the pure happiness and joy of it. And as you're watching these butterflies doing their dance, circling each other and swaying and moving and flying around, you might mentally want to join them in their sway of movement, of joy, of pure existence, to just doing the dance because it can be done to just do the floating dance because it is just fun to do. And you might get out of your perception of this ease to flow into the space of ease and grace like them. Some people in our list are still feeling a little bit too heavy for that. And that is okay. They're constantly worked on. Some people I'm seeing are covered from head to toe with these transformatory butterfly beings. Covered and 
nothing of them seems to be left but just moving wings while the darkness energy is sucked out of them diseasement shame blame mental emotional physical distresses from the various forms of people on our list Nothing can withstand the joyful dance of the butterflies in their transformatory form. This harmony comes out and harmony, joy and just being comes in. The mantra for today is free to be me and just be. You don't have to be a particular person in a particular way. Just float, fly and go with the flow of life. You're carried like the butterflies are carried with the wings and the air under their wings. It's easy. It's fun. It's playful. Be free to be you and play. I hear some of our people on the list say, but I cannot play because. But I have to stay in suffering because. All these little because energies will be poked at by a little golden worm, what we call sometimes nanites with God's consciousness and awareness. As if they would say, does it really have to be that way? Did you make suffering a habit? Do you get attention with suffering? These little golden worms pick and probe why the individual cannot let go of their suffering unwilling to let go of their suffering. So this is not just an energy exchange today. This is actually finding out about root causes. Why does it seem better to suffer than to let the suffering go right now? Why suffering feels safer? Or... What purpose does it have? All these little probings will bring that to the surface for the individuals right now. As we always have the chance to just let things be. That said, feel your song, feel your beingness, feel your rhythm, feel your DNA, feel your spirit, and feel your presence in the vastness of this universe. And today we are employing, employing again the cocoons 
the healing cocoon which we had established so many moons ago, so many years ago, and they are still active. So some of the more resistance people to healing, defiant of change, not wanting to get better because disharmony feels safer, the known pain feels safer than the unknown betterment, those are gently brought by our helpers to the golden cocoons of healing. And the individuals can feel safe in the cocoon and will be shown alternatives to their suffering of choice. And part of them, the resistance part to getting better, will be continuously worked on through the next months. That's what I'm told from our helper beings. The rest is going to be brought back to their respective energy, physical forms, energy forms. And we are inhaling one more time and opening up in full bloom to the resonance of joy and being a part of creation. As we are created and we co-create. And let maybe butterflies land on your being one last time. Feel their little feet. Feel their little tongues. Feel their little feelers and their little wings all over you where there is tension and pain. And send them off. Thank them for giving you this healing exchange, this butterfly effect of lightheartedness and upliftedness. As we are coming back down closer, sinking back closer to our three-dimensional form. But while we are sinking back down into our three-dimensional form, one particular helper, or maybe two or three, come to the forefront to say that they are with us every step of the way. We are never alone. We always have help, always have helpers. So make use of the offering in the upcoming weeks, as the energies will be more intense, as we have seen most of us last night, through the full moon and its intensity, its energy boost. These energy boosts are going to happen more frequently now, as this planet accelerates to a higher vibration rate. With the energy circle, the standing stone circle and the energy form and even or physical on our planet, these gateways help to bring in the new vibration rate. As we are adjusting to it, it will be easier to accept it in physical form. And therefore, we are now sinking further back into our physical form, refreshed and renewed in acknowledgement to our helpers and guiding ones, and thanking all the helpers to the right and to the left, before us, behind us, 
above us and below us. And we are thanking the standing stones on, on this planet for marking the curtain spots where the curtain between the veil is very, very thin. The curtain between the worlds is really, really thin. And these places are always a well of information, a gateway to wisdom, places to download. And you can visit them physically or just travel there in your mind's eye. Right now, come back to your physical form. Slow down your vibration rate to an acceptable one for your surrounding. Maybe bring the aura back into an acceptable form more around you instead of engulfing the whole cosmic realities. And maybe you are sending some more love to some animals on this planet, to some particular people on this planet you care for the most. Send joy and love to people and animals you care about the most. and maybe see them smile in peace. Maybe having a big smile they never had as long as they lived in the resonance of joy and love. With those beautiful smiles in our hearts, we come back to our physical form, feel our feet, feel our body, bringing in our energy flow back to ourself. Till next time.